Today, we're gonna talk about how to completely change your life in just six months. And this is for anybody who wants to change their life drastically. And this could be if you are unemployed and you wanna be able to figure out a way to finally start making money and to be able to change your life. This could be if you are employed and you've been at a job for a while and you're just ready to create your own job, do whatever it is that you want with your own life. No matter which situation that you're in, this is for you. I'm gonna to talk to you about how you can change your life in six months. If you have a family, if you don't have a family, if you have a job, if you don't have a job, this relates to every single person if you wanna make massive changes in your life. And the reason why I say this is because someone that I'm close to, their father uh, actually just got fired from a job that he was at for 20 years. He was at a job for 20 years and they had to let him go for budget reasons. And one of the things that drives me the most crazy is that people think that working for somebody else and getting a salary is secure work. For those of you guys that are just listening to the podcast, you can't see me, I'm air quoting secure because there's nothing secure about working for somebody else. The only time it's secure is when you're own, you're, you are your own boss. You can't fire yourself. Whenever you're at the mercy of someone else, there's no security there. So today we're gonna to be talking about how to completely change your life in six months. And step number one is to fucking disappear. That's correct. Disappear completely. Go off the map, lock yourself in your house whenever you're not at work or whenever you're awake, if you're not, don't have a job, disappear. Don't see anybody that you've seen consistently throughout the days, throughout the weeks, whatever it is, disappear for six months. And I'm gonna give you the steps of what this is going to look like, but the most important part of it is to disappear because you can do anything for six months. And we're talking about a full life reset. So let's talk about what this is gonna look like. The first thing I want you to do is I want you to get very clear on what it is that you want in this life. One of the main issues that I see with people, and I've coached tens of thousands of people, tens of thousands of people have sent me emails or Facebook messages or Instagram messages, or they've gone through my courses or they've gone through one-on-one -on -one with me, whatever it is. One of the biggest things that I see that's a problem of holding people back is that they just don't know what they want. So when I say you've gotta become very, 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 very clear on what it is that you want, what do you want? If you were to look into your future five years from today, 10 years from today, what do you want? What do you want your life to be? What do you want your family to look like? What do you want your bank account to look like? What, do, what kind of business do you want to be running? You've got to become very clear. I've told you this story before on the podcast, but when I first had my coaching business, I also had an Amazon business that was making way more money than my coaching business was. But I asked myself, if I fast forward five years from today, do I want to be known as the guy who's teaching, you know, who's selling stuff on Amazon, or do I want to be known as the guy who's coaching people and helping them improve their lives? That became very clear for me. I want to be the one that's coaching people, helping people change their lives. That was just what I was passionate about. Selling on Amazon, there was nothing wrong with it. It just wasn't my passion. So I fast forwarded my life. And then I said, okay, what do I want from here? Here's a really easy way to do this. It's called future pacing, okay? So if it's 2021 right now, and let's say that you look and you say, I want $10 million in my bank account, and I want to have this, 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 five years from today. Then you're going to go, it is 2026. I have $10 million in my bank account. I do, and I have all of these things, all the things you list out that you want, and life and the happiness and the joy. This is what I did to do it. And I want you to write a story as if it's already happened. It's called future pacing. You go into this future that you want and you actually write the future out and how you created that future. And the thing that you have to do is you have to become very clear because the more clear that you are, the easier it is to visualize this future that you want to create. And you're gonna visualize it, and you're gonna look at your goals every single day, every single morning, and you're gonna visualize them, you're gonna look at them, you're gonna read them, you're gonna write them down, and you're gonna get more clear every single morning of these six months. And then what I want you to do in these six months is I want you to learn one high income skill. I want you to learn one high income skill. I'm gonna give you a bunch of examples of high income skills that I see that are on the internet, but if you want to work in person, if you want to you know, become really good at landscaping and you want to create a, a massive landscaping business, obviously that's not going to be on this list, but I'm going to give you some ideas of things that I've seen people making lots of money on on the internet. You could do woodworking, you could do painting, whatever it is for you, it's up to you. First thing that I think of, you can learn how to run, how to run Facebook ads. I know people that make millions of dollars a year running Facebook ads for other people. You can write articles 
and make money writing articles. You can get good at SEO, search engine optimization, and do that for people. You can do it for yourself. You can make YouTube videos and figure out ways to make money on YouTube. You can decide that you wanna be a coach and you can coach people and make a lot of money doing that. You can set up a Shopify store and start doing e-commerce. You can set up an Etsy store and start selling jewelry or whatever it is that you want to sell on Etsy. There's millions of different products on Etsy you can start doing. You could get Facebook ad revenue. That means if you start put, making videos and the videos start going semi-viral, they'll actually pay you for the views that you get based off of the ads that are there. You can get sponsorships. If you start growing your following, you get sponsorships on Instagram, on Facebook, on YouTube. You can run a brand new clothing company. If you wanna start a clothing company, then you go, okay, I need to figure out how to, how to create the products, how to design them, how to get them onto Shopify, how to put Facebook ads up. You can sell courses for whatever it is that you might have a skill set on. You can do affiliate marketing, you can do podcasting. You can do uh, freelance work for whatever you're good at freelance at upwork.com. You can do it at fiverr.com. You can do social media management. You can learn to master social media and you can teach that to other people or you can run their own. You could write Kindle books if you wanted to ebooks and start selling those. You can do consulting for whatever you might have an idea of. If you're a, a sales manager and you're just tired of working for someone else, you could consult other companies on how to actually make their sales better. You can do consulting. You can do freelance writing. Take six months to master one skill. And obviously you're not gonna master in the six months, but you're gonna be on your road to mastery because most people don't take six months to learn shit. So you're gonna sit there and you're gonna go, I got six months to master this. And then what you're gonna do as you're mastering it, as you're forcing yourself to learn, get better, learn, get better, learn, get better, mess up a lot, mess up a lot, mess up a lot, is then what you're going to do is you're going to figure out a way to take that skill, take that very niche knowledge skill and turn it into a business. And depending on what it is that you wanna do, there's tons of people that have courses to teach you how to run a Shopify store, or to run an Amazon business, or to get better at Etsy. There's tons of free stuff out there on YouTube. If you wanna learn any of these things, there's a ton of free stuff out there on YouTube as well. Give yourself six months to learn one high income skill and completely change your life with it. The second thing that you're gonna do, now that you know what you want, now that you've figured out what high income skill you're going to get, now you gotta make a plan of how you're going to get there. So if you say, okay, in five years, I wanna be worth this amount of money. 10 years, I wanna be worth this amount of money. I wanna do it by opening a luxury Shopify store and Etsy store for faux leather jackets. I don't know, something like that. Well, then now I figure out what it is. I need to create a plan. Okay, I'm probably gonna have to learn from somebody. Either I'm gonna have to pay them to coach me or I'm gonna have to get some sort of course. I'm gonna have to go on YouTube and figure it out. And what you do is you figure out what it is that you need to do. Now, if you have a full-time job, then you know when you go home, this is what you're doing. You're gonna lock it down. You're not gonna go out and party. You're not gonna see your friends and that's fine. And I'm gonna tell you how to work with your friends and work with your family and work with everybody. Uh, if you have children, you know, obviously you've gotta take care of your children, but we're talking about taking Taking time to actually really lock down whatever that means for you. And people can always use their family as an excuse, but literally I had somebody who just joined and for me and just learned how to grow a coaching business. She grew a coaching business. She's got four, she's a single mother of four. She made $16,000 last week. You can use your family as an excuse if you want to, or you can use them as the reason why you succeed. People like to use their family and their children as reasons why they're not succeeding. In reality, you need to flip that and make them the reason why you are going to succeed. So you've got to figure out a very clear plan of exactly what you're going to do, exactly what you're going to create, and the business, the money that you want, the happiness, the joy, whatever it is you're trying to create in the next five to 10 years. Get very clear on what it is that you want and then get very clear on the roadmap and the plan to get there. Here's what messes a lot of people up. They expect that they need to come up with the perfect plan that will never change. Your plan is gonna change 500 times in the next 10 years. That's okay. It's the same way as if you're gonna take a really long road trip, there's gonna be some detours. There's no way that the original plan to get there is just gonna be perfect. There's gonna be detours no matter what. You can figure it out. You can figure out what it is you need to do. The thing about it is that you know what you need to do to create the life that you want. You know what you need to do to be successful, be happy, to whatever it is that you're trying to create. You know. The problem is you're just not doing it. Everybody knows what they need to do to become wealthy or happy or successful or more peaceful. We know what we need to do. We're just not doing it. That's the problem. So stop acting like you don't know. You've just got to start doing it. Come up with a plan and realize that that plan is going to shift and move along the way. That's what's gonna happen. It's gonna shift and move along the way. So that's step number two is come up with a plan. Step number three is what I told you in the very beginning. Disappear, you're gone, poof. Never to be seen again for the next six months. That's what you're going to do. 
Why? Because this is your time to completely rewire and to change your life. And the people who really love you will be fine with you doing this. One of the main resistance of people doing this is they think, oh my gosh, my mom's gonna be so mad. You know, my, uh, my friends are gonna be so mad. Usually we hang out, we watch football on Sundays. If it's really important to you, you'll figure it out. If it's not important to you, you make some excuses as to why you're not doing it. That's the truth of the matter. Tell everyone that you know that you're going on a money-making vacation. You're disappearing. That's just the way it's gonna go. You're gonna disappear for six months. Just let them know. If they get mad about it, they were never a true friend in the first place. A couple weeks ago, I did an episode on Kobe Bryant and Michael Jordan, what it takes to be great. And I remember watching the video on Kobe Bryant talking about how when he first got into the NBA, he was only 18 years old, went straight from high school straight to the NBA. And he told all of his friends and all of his family, I'm not gonna hang out with you for the next year. And the person that was interviewing him was like, well, didn't they get mad? He's like, some of them got mad. But those aren't my true, those are, that's not the true people who love me. If you love me, you know how important basketball is to me. You know how important it is for me to bring out my true potential in this very first year, how important it is. We can hang out after year one. But year one, I've got to lock in. I've got to change myself. I've got to improve my skills because this is the most important year of my life. He said everyone that loved him was okay with it. You've got to constantly ask yourself this question every single day, multiple times a day. Is what I'm doing right now getting me closer to or further from my goal? What we're talking about is developing the foundation of a brand new life, developing the foundation of a brand new skill set, developing the foundation of a brand new business. And you're not going to be amazing at the beginning, but you're going to get better and you're going to get better and you're going to get better. And what you're doing is you're basically pouring the foundation for this brand new life, this brand new business. You're pouring the foundation. And then after these six months, you're basically, you know, you're in the six months, you're starting to build the bricks and you're putting the bricks down. But then what you're also going to be doing is continuing to build it after the six months. After the six months, you can go back and watch football with your boys on Sundays. You can watch Saturday, you know, uh, NCAA football if you want to. You can do all of those things. But what I'm telling you is if you, if it's truly important to you, you'll lock it down for a little while. You'll figure out how to make it work. You'll figure out how to make it work with your business. You'll figure out how to make it work with your family. You'll figure out how to make it work with your friends. You'll figure out how to work, make it work with every single aspect of your business. But if you're stopping yourself immediately right now going, oh yeah, but what if? You've already taken yourself out of the game. Completely rewire yourself, rewire your mindset, rewire your business, rewire your, your bank account, rewire your happiness, your joy, your peace, all of those things. And in six months, you'll come back a different person and inspire all of the people around you to start changing themselves as well. That is how you change your life.